I'm interested in that uh, that matchup with TCU uh, in Michigan. What what can TCU do to slow down Michigan's run game? And does J.J. McCarthy, is he the difference in why this Michigan team could possibly win a national championship, his ability to throw where they didn't have that last year when they ran into Georgia? Yeah, so let me start off with the, the TCU side of it. Number one, TCU's got a lot better players than people think they do, um, particularly on defense, particularly at corner. Their corners are really, really good. They will match up very, very well uh, with Michigan's personnel out wide. But the way they line up, they're in that 3-3-5 look, and they just dare you to run the football. And what they want to do is they want to spill the ball to the perimeter. They are not a team in a 3-3-5 look that's going to be able to just line up, hold up in a phone booth versus a downhill power run game. And that's what Michigan's going to try to do to them. So what TCU wants to do, their best tacklers are their perimeter players. They want to, to clog the middle and force that ball to bounce outside, get into space, and then run to the football, leverage the ball, and tackle. Both of these two teams, Michigan's the best tackling team on defense in college football. I think TCU is right up there with them. Wow. All right, that's a hard thing to do in, today, in today's game. So uh, for my money, TCU's got to get off the field a couple of times. They can't allow the inside run game. To, to keep the defense on the field because you're going to limit offensive possessions. TCU would love for this thing to get into a track meet because that's not Michigan's game. So um, to me, there's two things on defense for TCU that I'd sum up. Can they hold up for four quarters? All right. Do they have the depth to be able to, to, to stand up at the line of scrimmage and say, nope, you're not going to run it, run it down our throat. And then secondly, can you get a takeaway? Can you get off that field on that one third and four where you hold them? They decide not to go for it on fourth down because they're on 38 yard line. Those two things are key on the Michigan side of things. I don't think they have to ask a uh, JJ McCarthy to, to wear a cape. I, I think that he's going to hand it off. He's going to be they're They're going to be a play action football team in the passing game. They got the best group of offensive line. And I think run game scheme of anybody in college football right now, they've done such an unreal job up front at Michigan uh, they just can't take TCU lightly. TCU loves to live in the one possession game. They love to, to live when it looks like all hope is lost. They thrive on that. So the longer Michigan allows TCU to stick around, the tougher it's going to be on Michigan to win the game.